we learned that we could get nuclear fission to happen by getting a nucleus to absorb a neutron. There is no special event like that for fusion. The conditions that are required for fusion to occur are simply high temperatures and high pressures. But when we say high, we mean really high. So why do we need these conditions of high temperatures and high pressures? Well, the nuclei are all positively charged and so they will repel each other. So here's two positively charged nuclei that we might have. Since they're positively charged, they're pushed away from each other. But for fusion to happen, we need them to come together. So we need to overcome this. The nuclei need to have a lot of energy to overcome this electrostatic repulsion between them to join together. So here we've got our positively charged nuclei. We're trying to bring them together, but the electrostatic forces push them apart. And it takes a lot of energy to bring them together. And we give them a lot of energy by increasing the pressure and temperature. So we know that the nuclear power stations that we have use nuclear fission to work. So why don't we currently have any nuclear power stations that use nuclear fusion? Well, it's difficult to make a power station that generates power using the energy produced by fusion. Remember, we need to put a lot of energy in to overcome these electrostatic repulsions. Hey guys, to continue watching this video, and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific GCSE physics and combined science videos. Just click on the snap revised smiley face. Join me today and let's make physics at GCSE a walk in the park.